Manchester City's fixtures have just been released, so let's get straight into it. Yes, yes, people, welcome back to another video. Hope you're good. Um, if you haven't already, do us a favour, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Manchester City's fixtures have just been announced, and there's some crazy months going on, but all in all, I do think it's a good fixture list. Here's your breakdown of it. We'll go through it, and um, you can have your thoughts and opinions. Leave them in the comments section below. Starting off... We have August. Obviously, we're starting on the 18th of August this time. Chelsea away. First things first. <laughs> Straight into it. We don't have to waste no time. Chelsea away, which is going to be a difficult game as well. Obviously, Enzo being the new uh, manager as well. So, have to see how that goes. But um, Chelsea away, man. Big game. Big game, so we're getting straight into it. So we need to make sure that this preseason is good, man, because another one of these big games, we've not actually beat any of the top six in quite a while. Um, I know, obviously, I think United are the only team that we, we actually beat. I think, like, I'm think i sure it was something like that last season. Um, but Chelsea way starting off on the 18th, um, and then we're going into Ipswich, newly promoted on the 24th, Ipswich at home, and then you've got West Ham away. West Ham away is another difficult game, but I think we, we usually do quite well against West Ham. Um, and that's your starting month, that's August, that's uh, your entry into the 24-25 season. Chelsea obviously being the standout game of them three. Um, going in to September, we've got Brentford at home, back it, Arsenal at home and Newcastle away. Again, it feels like a difficult month with Arsenal and Newcastle being in there. But one thing's for certain though, you can't write us off at this point anyway. Uh, it's too early on. Um, people will do that. But you, you can't. You can't. That's, not, that's not a thing. Uh, we've seen how City usually operate. First half of the season, we kind of just experiment and test things. And then second half is when we really get going. And we're going to need to get going because the second half of this Premier League season, one of their months, honestly, is the month of death. Um, some of these fixtures are subjected to change, obviously due to like different competitions like Champions League, etc. Um, Club World Cup as well is this year as well. So, um, do you know what I mean? The Carabao usually congests it all so there's going to be loads uh, more fixtures put into this this is just the general uh, Premier League announcement um, so yeah you September is Brentford Arsenal Newcastle Arsenal at home big game um, Newcastle away again another difficult game another d difficult ground to go to uh, Newcastle very good side um, moving in to October um, October you've got Fulham at home back it um, Wolves away um, a Difficult ground to go to, but I, I back us there. And Southampton at home, um, again, we should be um, backing us to beat those. That should be a good month. You should be looking at nine points there, really, um, on, on the face of it, nine points. Um, moving on, straight into November. Um, November's looking a good start. Um, you've got Bournemouth away. Um, and then you've got Brighton away. Brighton away, we had difficult times at Brighton away, but then um, last season, we I think they might have been on the beach a little bit, but um, it was a bit better um, for us last season. The um, So that you've got a quite an all right run there, with it being Fulham, Wolves, Southampton, Bournemouth, Brighton. Uh, finishing it off with Brighton is quite difficult, but that's a good run of games there. That's a good run of games to have, especially because Chelsea uh, at the start of the season and then you've got Arsenal and Newcastle. Um, so do you know what I mean? In, in, in two months, in the first six games of the Premier League, we'll have already played Chelsea, Arsenal and Newcastle, which is mad. Um, but yeah, so the, the, the run in there, that, that, that'll run from October into November is good. That should be good for the team. That hopefully get um, a good winning streak going. If, do you know what I mean? That's me being selfish. Uh, but then... After Brighton is where things start heating up a little bit in November towards uh, the end of the month. You've got Tottenham at home. Now, we know, we all know Tottenham games. Never good. Never good. It's never our thing. So, you've got Tottenham at home. But then, you've also got Liverpool away. Now, one of the first things I do is when we look at this fixture list is find when the derby is. Then also find when we play Liverpool away because usually it's an absolute write off. So a point there will do. Um, but yeah, Liverpool away. Maybe this is maybe this is another one of the years where we'll we'll do it Anfield. Maybe not. Sometimes maybe good. 
Um, so yeah, Liverpool away uh, rounds off the November. Then you're going into December now. Um, Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, Forest at home, decent. Crystal Palace away, difficult game, but still not too bad. Um, then you've got United. So United, our first um, United. Uh, fixture is United at home. That's on the 14th of December. Then you got Aston Villa away, Everton at home, and Leicester away. Again, I do think this is a difficult month with the away days. Palace away, never good. Aston Villa away, again, never good. Um, and Leicester away, obviously newly promoted. So I'll have to see how uh, things go there and how their season's going at that point. But this is where City should be looking to be getting into the swing of things. Now, in this, obviously, you know, their uh, December's always heavy fixtures. Um, you've got six Premier League fixtures there, but a Club World Cup will be in there as well. You've got some pre Champions League fixtures sandwiched into all of that. Um, so having United in there, obviously, and I, I, I know the the whole, oh, it's all United, but um, United at home in there, I think that's the difficult one. That's a standout fixture of that month. Um, Aston Villa away is a really difficult game. I'm sure we played Aston Villa away like at a similar time in November, and that's when we uh, we lost 1-0. But at this point of the season is where City really start to get into a run. Um, I, know, I remember when we lost against Aston Villa the 1-0 um, away day, we went on like a, a big unbeaten streak for quite a while. Um, so... That's uh, that's a decent month. Not the best, obviously. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's the Premier League. Fixtures are hard. Fixtures are everywhere. Uh, but a decent month for City in December. Um, January, going into the new year, you got West Ham at home, uh, Brentford away, Ipswich Town away, and then Chelsea at home. So that's the reversed fixture for Chelsea straight away in January. Um, and then you're boxing off Brentford, West Ham, and Ipswich. Um, I think that's a decent month. I think that's a decent move. To be fair, if you look at the run um, from December, say like, if you look at December as a whole, after Liverpool, Liverpool is like, a, a, we all know is a really difficult game. You've got Forest, Palace, United, Villa, Everton, Leicester. Villa's a really difficult game in there. Um, West Ham, Brentford, Ipswich, before you get to Chelsea at home. Again, Chelsea, a, a difficult game for us. Um, now this, this is where things go Ah, <sighs> this is this is this is make or break, I think, for this Premier League season, um, and I think a lot of people will look at it and be sweating, and we, we probably should be sweating. Um, Arsenal away, Newcastle at home, Liverpool at home, Spurs away. Spurs away is grim as it is. I know we've scored there now, so we kind of broke the duck. Arsenal away is grim. Newcastle United at home, back us, and Liverpool at home. I do back us against Liverpool at home. I'm not sure how Liverpool season is going to be this year, but I do back us against Liverpool at home, even though um, it will be a difficult game. Now, that February is a horrible month. And even if you just take the, the, the end of January in there, Chelsea, Arsenal, Newcastle, Liverpool, Spurs. What a run of games. That is insane. And then you add into the fact that we're going to have um, the knockouts the Champions League knockouts the round of 16 will probably be after Newcastle and after Liverpool those two legs so you'll have Newcastle Champions League team Liverpool Champions League team Spurs that's heavy that's a heavy fixture congestion to have and it against could be some difficult teams man so that's the standout month for City in this Premier League title in this Premier League season is February it is around then. Um, going into March, uh, just the two fixtures in March at this moment in time with Forest away and Brighton at home. I think we could back that. I think there's usually international breaks in March. Uh, but Forest away, Brighton at home. Fine with that. I think that's that's all right for us. And then going into the final set of fixtures then. This is the running. Um, you've got Leicester at home, United away, Palace at home, Everton away, Aston Villa at home in April. I think that's a decent month. Again, like I said, it's it's very kind kind of the same elk as December. Uh, kind of a back, back that Leicester at home should should be backing us there, especially at this point in the season. You'd hope that we're still in this title race and still pushing, um, or even clear at the top. That'd be nice. Uh, but at this point in the title race, this is where City usually get into the swing of things. And we, do you know what I mean we were. We're pretty good at this point. So Leicester at home should be backing us there. United away, backers every time. Uh, Palace at home, 
Yeah. Um, Everton away, difficult ground to go to, difficult place, but um, obviously we won there last year when it, when it was needed. And I, I back us to win at Everton when it's on the line kind of thing. Um, and then Aston Villa at home, back us there again. And then May, the last month, you've got Wolves, Southampton, Bournemouth, Fulham, right? You're going to get fans going, oh, look how easy the running is for them. It's a, it's a fix. Look, it's, it's all rigged for City to win the Prem just because of saying that. But Southampton away, not sure how difficult that's going to be this season. Fulham away, I don't think it's an easy game by any stretch of the imagination. But, I like it. I do like it. If you look at the April and May, like Palace, Everton, Villa, Wolves, Southampton, Bournemouth, Fulham. Mate, we should be beating them. We want to win this Premier League. We should be beating them. And also, there's the, I know the, the whole should thing, but um, I, 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 think that's a, I think that's a great running. Now, if you, if you take United out of the equation, it means that the last time we play a top like a proper top four, top six side generally there. If you're taking United out of it, it's Spurs. Spurs away in Feb, which is meant to have March, April, May. is like you don't have to play any of the title contenders um, in idea. I don't think United will be challenging for the title next season. I don't think anyone would think that um, at this moment in time anyway. But I do think, uh, never say never, uh, but I'd, uh, to, to not have any of your title rivals in those last three months, I think he's great. I think he's really, really good. Obviously, Aston Villa have got Champions League football this season, but again, don't see them challenging for the title this year. Um, honestly, I, I back it. I back it. I think it's um, it's an exciting fixture list. Now, if you just to dip into the other fixtures, um, I think the, the Premier League does kick off with United and Fulham, I think it is, is the first game on the Friday. Uh, exciting times, man. Exciting. Let us know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on Manchester City's Premier League fixtures? For me, I'm excited. There's some difficult periods, but there's also some good runs that City can probably go on to. Now, like I said before, you're going to have to throw in all the other fixtures from the Champions League, Club World Cup, Carabao, FA Cup, depending on how far we're going all in competitions. You have to throw all them in the mix of it all. But it's heavy, man. It's heavy. And I'm, I'm already back in it. I'm back in. You know what I mean? Euros has pulled me out a little bit, but I'm, I'm, I'm straight back in. Straight back in. Premier League mode. Love it. Absolutely love it. So February for me is... <laughs> February is a horrendous fixture period. A horrendous fixture period. Just one more time to go through February. Um, it is... Obviously, Chelsea at the end of January. Then you've got Arsenal, Newcastle, Liverpool, Spurs. That is insane. That's insane. That's make or break for City's Premier League title race this season. Um, like I say, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Big up to everyone. Subscribe to the Scratch channel if you are new. Please like the video. And we'll see you later on with some more content. See you in a bit.